Good morning. It's like I just say morning. I'm so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. We're checking out. It's time to hop in the car and go back to Chicago after our two week oh. extravaganza. Oh, yeah. on the way. I know. These cars are so cool. Minnie Mouse. Uh, no. Uh, we do have to uh, stop at Target to pick up some stuff for the road trip and then pick up Evie Girl. And then we'll be heading north. So, look at this beautiful view. Stunning. It's 37 degrees out there. Beautiful and stunning and not the sun coming in like this. Sarah just pointed out that it's less than 10 degrees difference between Orlando right now and Chicago. <laughs> yeah. And I came back and I said it probably feels colder here, here because of the moisture content yeah. versus Chicago's. Yeah, I guess the like only super sad part about it being so cold is that we didn't get to go out on our balcony. Yeah, no. but I'm antsy to get set and get ready and we'll get Evie. And get going because we, we yeah, are going all the way to Murf Tennessee. Murfreesboro? I yeah. can never say that. That's where we're going. Tennessee. Bye bye, room. Oh gosh, that face. I'm saying by nine o'clock is probably what we'll be there by. about an hour and a half away from our Airbnb in Murphy. I never say this place right. Murfreesboro? I think that was good. Um, we're about an hour and a half away, but Teddy was due for some food. Um, we could all use one more bathroom break and then we'll be there soon. I feel like it might be like in Nashville where we just like order food and stay in. Um, we don't need to get on the road as early as we did last time. So we were kind of chasing the like the sun and the park hours 
slippers tomorrow we can be a little bit more leisurely. But we are, we are, we're tired after two weeks of non-stop magic. Um, so yeah, I could see us kind of just relaxing the rest of the night. One eternity later. I want to let you know that we made it safe to our Airbnb in Murfreesboro. There was construction on 24 that literally like made it stop. But we rerouted. We are starving. We ordered this delicious sushi I'm about to show you. Thank we you, have, Regine and Kelly. Yeah, thank you, Virginia and Kelly, for suggesting it. We have Gilmore Girls on. We'll do the tour of this. The probably one of the best, best Airbnbs we've ever stayed in. And we haven't even, we've only been here like 10 minutes. We booked it yesterday. Booked it yesterday. So we've got, what is this? Volcano roll and uh, hurricane, roll. hurricane roll. They didn't have any rice because we wanted chicken fried rice, so they gave us this spicy tuna roll instead. And some dumplings for Jamesy, but he is asleep on a bed right now, potentially for the rest of the night. I'm watching some Gilmore Girls to wind down for the night, but sometimes all you need is your doggy bed to wind down. I think she's still recovering from a week with a little puppy boy. The Petra says the cute dog puck Fillmore. Here's our Airbnb. Cute living room. I got told Sarah like if we had an Airbnb, it I would it would be run like this, I think. Clean. Airbnb ish. Yeah. So, off of the living room, there is this a full bath. I think, what is it in total? Two, two? Cute. Just basic, but cute. Really nice bedrooms. The kitchen is amazing for an Airbnb. Like, newer appliances. Giant Keurig. Super adorable. Like, fancy things. Like, Woo! It's a live dining area with like just like cute, I, I think homemade. Some of these decorations homemade. Okay, I'm gonna get quiet because James is sleeping in this other bedroom. Like, look at this book decoration. Just cute, quaint, simple. There's a bathroom off there. So for all of this, there's even a backyard fenced in, and there's like one car garage that we would be, that we were allowed to pull our car into. Just like unheard of stuff for Airbnbs. And we got all this for one night for 160. And that's with that's with the dog, and they don't have a pet fee. Other Airbnbs have charged us anywhere from 30 to 70 dollars just for Eve coming. Yeah, we'll have this in the books for the future trips. Yeah, and it's right off I-24. Maybe this will become our new place. Ooh, maybe I'll ask him how to do this so we can open up our own version in Chicago. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning from Asheville. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are having this be a two-parter. Look how cute Evie Girl is up there. This is James is eating a pout. Watching Coco. Teddy is a snoozing. We have been on the road for a little less than an hour and we're all just ready to be home. Um, but it's a shorter, shorter leg of the trip today. So that that is promising. Um, and yeah, weather looks good. Everything from the maps looks good. I'm feeling good. Officially in Illinois. Very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, 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 very quickly into his little house. That was fun. So silly.
don't even know the last thing that we filmed. So this leg has been a little chaotic, like nothing, like, I don't know, nothing in particular. It's just kind of been dragging. I started having an allergic reaction to Eve. Teddy all of a sudden had a temperature and we had to give him medicine just a little bit ago. So he's doing better. Um, so that like I could kind of tell like he was off since the morning just like uncomfortable um, and then he did spike a temperature so there's that and then it was raining so I really like my my vision's pretty poor and like it's hard to drive in the rain so Peter's just been driving we really didn't prepare for this road trip as well as like the way down it's like my organized toys and snacks and stuff just didn't set ourselves up for success but we're about an hour away, and I think we'll all be very happy to be home. Aww, how cute. A couple of rodents looking for James, a theme park. James, is Hercules fan. A new Hercules fan. And I'm his gopher. What exactly happened here? And this is the, the unorganized <laughs> mess I'm dealing with. No. We're not home yet, but city and she is beautiful even on this gloomy day. Edie, we're almost there. That was an unexpected choice. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Christmas set. <laughs> Back in the city, walking over to the jewel to grab some stuff a block away. So, a lot of emotions coming back from this trip. We, there was a lot of, and I think Sarah might have mentioned this during this two part vlog, that like, there's a lot that we had planned to do or deal with after we got back from this huge trip. Um, and that's like a lot of things, like we're gonna get back to healthy, we're, I think we're just gonna dive right back into plant-based with some modifications, getting back to running, so I was gonna get back to pelotoning, healthy lifestyles, planning to move back to Orlando, but we had this moment we walked into our apartment because we love our apartment so, so much. It's like a quintessential Chicago city, downtown old apartment. It's just, we've outgrown it, but I would love a bigger version of it. And then we've been away, which only two weeks, but it feels like it's been like two months because we were so much jam packed in those two weeks. That like I told you, I was like, this is the, why we're gonna do what we're gonna do next, and it's because we love both places. So that's why we're gonna strive for the next like, you know, we'll be moving to Florida in the next you know two three months. But the plan to probably be a three to five year plan is to make it financially stable for us to live in both places, live for four to five months in one, six to seven months in the other. So it's stuff like that, but it's because we utterly love both places. I mean, look at this, I'm about to walk to a grocery store and I see Mickey Mouse spray painted on here. It says, we, we all live here. And we just got out of a car for 20 hours and I, oh yeah, we've got no groceries. I'm gonna pop over a few blocks away to the Jewel favorite grocery store and grab some quick frozen pizzas and some other stuff. Because this is the greatest city in the world and Disney World's the greatest place in the world. So we're gonna do something unconventional, and I feel like that's what our generation does, and live in both. Here we are, James's favorite place. <laughs> Just like that, we have a little end of vacation back home, last final celebration, hurrah, extravaganza, whatever you'd like to call it. We still got Christmas lights up here in Chicago, but we do it how Chicago does it, right? James has been crouched like bingo as a frog. The reality of unpacking. Oi! Are you dancing? Oh, he's a good dancer. He's been like mimicking what's on the TV more and more. It's so cute. We know what our goals are, 
we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.